Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a new voiceover training video. In this video, you're going to see the last yeah, training that I was able to record before I got COVID. And now I'm gonna need to stay in home quarantine until the upcoming Tuesday. So enjoy the video, guys. I started the workout with a new protocol that I'm using for me and for some of my clients in a contrast training style. And as you can read here, contrast training is the combination of a heavy resistance exercise with a high velocity movement. And the combination of those two has a few nice carryover effects as the very, very heavy lift in before the high velocity exercise um, provides some benefits that your central nervous system is primed and that your ability to really produce explosive strength is increased and how you can determine the other parameters for your training you can read in the boxes here i also will link you the full article about contrast training in the comments I did uh, four sets of chin-up singles at 80% estimated one rep max combined with a triple of a 5 kg muscle up as I haven't done this movement in a long time and so needed to start low. And then immediately after I got over to dips where I did three sets, six reps with 80 kg a bit lighter load as um, the lift before are really taxing, really challenging. So I took the dips a bit lighter this time, but still in a pretty heavy range. After the main competition lift, it's time for some assistance. And my rowing assistance here was bent over rows. So straps on, making some space for the balls and then straight to the reps. I did uh, three sets of 10 reps with uh, 110 kg here. Bend over rows also started easy as this exercise is new into my rotation. So I didn't want to overdo it in the first session. You know, just finding my groove again, um, finding out how much momentum I can use, which angles work good for me, how do I feel this exercise. And then I supersetted it with an overhead press from the pins. Um, love this variation here because it really helps me to focus on my shoulders and not having core as a limiting factor, not having uh, the bottom position as a limiting factor. I just can really focus on the reps, um, quality reps and making everything very, very controlled. So if you're not really happy with a standing over press as I am, this variation here is a very, very good alternative for the named reasons. Also, this variation doesn't really feel like a full body exercise as a standing over press does. So it works better as an assistance exercise in this variation for me as the standing over press works more like a main lift for me. Then, as I said, I did this three times, the three sets in total. This was my second set, bend over rowing. This one already felt better than the first set as I found my groove a bit better. So this one already uh, was felt better in the lats, better in the back. Um, the amount of momentum was better dosed. So yeah, it was just uh, a nicer set for me. Sometimes it just needs some time. Same here. Um, in this set, I could stabilize my lower back better against the pet and just found my setup. Working weight was a bit too light this time. Uh, I actually wanted to do a few fewer uh, reps, but as it was just 60 kg, I came up, I think, also with uh, around 10 reps in each set. So next time I will definitely go a bit heavier. Also, what I liked about this is that I had a pretty good feeling, not only in my delts, but also in my upper chest, which uh, yeah made this one a great assistance exercise for me. And here you can also see, by the way, that the equipment is from Strength Shop and my wrist wrap from oh. Donation. For both, we have um, in the Showdown website, we have discount codes for both. So check them out. And at the end, obviously, as always, as every day is arm day, there are some biceps curls included. This time I did those rope hammer curls, a uh, pretty nice exercise. Um, I just like to rotate the biceps curls so I get uh, yeah, stimulus from all angles. And yeah, that's how I roll.